What's up YouTube? Doing another video here today. This is a, um, a requested video from my buddy Nick, uh, Nathan Young. He wanted to see my Boker grip lock more in detail. So that's what we're going to go over here today. Or that's what I'm going to attempt to go over here. <laughs> uh, this is a Boker Plus knife and it is a G&G Hawk collaboration. So as you know, G&G Hawk designs are very innovative very complex and very unique. Um, I'm not gonna try to uh, explain the mechanics of it or maybe a little later I'll take off the uh, scale and uh, show you how it works since I can't put it into words myself. But we'll just go over some of the specs here. It is a flipper as with uh, most uh, Grant and Gavin Hawk designs. You see it comes out very, uh, very fast, very snappy. Uh, this is an uh, AUS-8, a, uh, not AUS-8A, a, but AUS-8 blade steel. This one's uh, manufactured in uh, Taiwan. The clip is very, retains uh, in, in the pocket pretty well. I think the, the scale and the frame are aluminum. So very lightweight knife. Pretty decent size to it. Um, you see four body screws, I guess you can call them body screws. One's on the frame, connected to the blade. One goes through the scale, the frame, and the blade. But as you'll see, there's a lot of moving parts in this knife. I think the custom counterpart is called the Lynx. I'm not sure if they call it the grip lock. So in, in a nutshell, basically, how this works is there's a, a series of, a set of springs here, one on each side. Um, and when you're opening the blade, well, if you're flipping it open, you're not going to notice it, but if you're, if you're opening it uh, slowly, you see there's kind of a halfway point where, depending on which way you go, it'll either snap closed or snap open. So you see that there, and then snaps open. So very, uh, very ingenious design, very cool, very comfortable too. And the reason why it's called the grip lock is because if you're gripping it here, there's kind of a little notch somewhere in here where while you're gripping it, it prevents the blade from closing. So essentially it's locked while you're holding it, but but it's a non-locking blade. So, so very, very cool. Um, there's this little kind of, you see, gear. It looks like a standoff, but really it moves, and that actually that actually locks the blade open. Very cool. I'm not sure how that's accomplished, but it's cool that they included it. And then once you un disengage it, you'll see it, it'll close. Um, you can open it with the thumb stud, but it's so much cooler with the flipper. You see there's jimping on the flipper, make it uh, very easy for you to flip it open. And there's jimping on the uh, the back side here or the spine of the knife. Providing a little bit of grip. So this comes in two different uh, finishes or colors. I think uh, it's kind of the other ones. The colors are kind of inverted. It comes with a black blade, black frame, and uh, kind of like a silverish uh, scale. This and obviously this one has the black scale, the silverish frame, and the kind of blasted blade there. Very cool knife. Um, I'll go ahead and try to uh, roll in some footage of what it looks like inside uh, inside the knife and how it functions. So I'll roll that in now. All right. So really quick here, guys. This is what it looks like um, when the show scale is off. You can see this uh, spring here, which is actually on both sides of the uh, of the knife, um, connected to two points: one on this back side of the frame, and one on the uh, the moving portion of the frame. So when it's opening here, you can see this side is uh, is kind of tucked into this curved part of the frame here. And when it opens, it kind of rests on it. And at the same time, this portion here is uh, is falling into this little notch here. So while you're gripping it, it's not allowing you to get out of that notch. And that essentially what uh, you know keeps it open or locks it. <clears throat> so I'm still not sure how this functions, how this is able to keep the, 
the blade locked, but I'm sure it uh, latches on to either this uh, this piece right here or this one, just preventing it from moving. But as you can see, um, <laughs> there's a lot of engineering that went into this knife or uh, the design of this knife, as it as with most of G and G Hawk uh, designs. Very cool, very ingenious. Um, See if you can get see all the um, different moving parts and pieces in there. So cool. So there you go, guys. That's a uh, that's the knife how it functions with the scale off. Just to give you a better visual, since I'm <laughs> I can't really explain it in, or put it into words myself. All right, guys. You should have just watched uh, what it looks like inside this knife very cool uh, as you can see very unique and a lot of thought went into the design process of it um, now we'll just get to some uh, comparisons I have two other uh, g, g Hawk designs actually one uh, in collaboration with Kershaw this is the Kershaw Ram very cool knife different locking mechanism and this is uh, one with uh, Buck this is the Marksman Again, a different locking mechanism. They have uh, they have developed many many locking mechanisms. Just very innovative. If you if you don't know who they are, please look them up. I'll leave some links in the description. Just great engineers and great knife makers, or knife designers. So you're looking at oh wrong side. You're looking at about seven and a half inches overall and about a three and a half inch blade or three and a quarter if you're looking at the cutting edge very comparable to uh, the ram the buck marksman's a little bigger so not too big good uh, good EDC carry size it's a great knife overall again like I always try to do I'll leave links in the description where you can find uh, well, the RAM is discontinued, but where you can find information or where you can purchase these knives. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments. Uh, Nathan, I hope you enjoyed the video. And thank you for watching. See you on the next one.